In this video, we will learn about what was the need for taxonomy and how did it came into existence. According to the data from IUCN, International Union of Conservation of Nature and Natural Resources, it came out that 8.7 million species are there on the entire earth. In Indian system, there are 45,000 species of plants and 91,000 species of animals. Now, the point is when we are asked to study these species, it is really difficult to understand them without the presence of a proper system. So, to escape all the confusion and to study the circle of diversity, we need a system and that system is taxonomy. How about understanding this concept of taxonomy with an interesting story? So, let me paint a picture for you to understand taxonomy in a better way. Imagine that a man borrowed a time machine to go back in time and see the world. Amazing, right? Now the man arrives a couple of centuries behind and is astonished by the beauty and diversity of flora and fauna. Since he is so amazed by what he sees, he wishes to remember everything he saw in order to share it with the world. He tried to identify what he was looking at while strolling. For example, he saw some things moving like animals and some things standing still like plants. Looking at the variety of organisms around him with different characteristics such as their shapes, color, size, habitat, behavior, types of reproduction taking place in them, and what they eat prompted him to name them for the sake of convenience in remembering them. However, when he looked at a group of similar-looking animals and plants, he curiously classified them based on their shape and size. Example, small cats and big cats which he later classified as tigers. Who knows, he might have become one of the taxonomists to spread his observations. According to what we understand from that man's observation, Taxonomy is a branch of science that deals with principles and procedures of identification, nomenclature, and classification. So the word taxonomy is derived from a Greek word taxis, meaning arrangement or division, and nomos, meaning method, that is, method of arranging organisms into groups according to their characteristics. How can we forget the reason behind this whole mess? Haha, <laughs> just joking. The man behind this genius concept, Carolus Linnaeus. Carolus Linnaeus is considered as a father of taxonomy. He developed the procedure to identify, name and organize species known as binomial nomenclature, and he also classified all the organisms into kingdom plantae and Kingdom Animalia. Now, let us understand the first principle of taxonomy, that's identification. It is the recognition of essential characters of an organism. The procedure of nomenclature is based on identification of organisms. For example, when you see a green-colored leaf, you identify it as a plant, as it is a characteristic of a plant. So now, Let's decode the second principle of taxonomy, that is nomenclature. It simply means naming an organism. As we are aware that local names of plants and animals might be different for different regions in a country and creates confusion while communicating. Let's look at an example to understand. A fish is called masa in Marathi and macha in Bengali, but we commonly refer to it as fish which is much easier to remember. So, it is necessary to standardize the naming of living organisms so that they are known by the same name, it is referred to as nomenclature. Here is another example to demonstrate our point. Jellyfish, silverfish, and starfish are not true fishes, but we still refer to them as fish, which is confusing. To escape this confusion, Scientific names are made representing a particular organism in every part of the world like cyphozoan for jellyfish, 
Lapisma sacharina for silverfish and Asteroidea for starfish. According to their scientific names, they now represent different organisms which is accepted in every part of the world. Moving on to the third principle of taxonomy, that's classification. The process of categorizing things based on their characteristics is known as classification. Here, organisms sharing similarities in their physical traits and capable of interbreeding are grouped together. The degree of apparent similarities and differences in the organisms are done under seven levels of classification which are Kingdom, Phylum, Class, Order, Family, Genus, and Species. With this, we come to an end of our video. Let's recap what all we learned. We started with why we need to study taxonomy. We learned about what we need to study under taxonomy, that is identification, nomenclature, and classification. I hope you guys understood this topic. You can learn more about it in the detailed chapter notes and attempt the respective tests on Eduref to cross-check your understanding.